this out today. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with something a little bit different. This is an Ibiza FR car, which I've never filmed before. I filmed the Cupra variant a little while ago, uh, but this, like I said, is something a little bit different. It's on steroids, I will say. It's a full stage three car, but these things run about 140, 150-ish brake standard. This thing's running pretty much double around the 300 brake mark. It's got a hybrid turbo. It's been fully built by RTMG up north. Um, and yeah, it should be a lot of fun because these things only weigh just over a ton, I think. 1100 kilos or something um, so yeah bit of a sleeper as well visually it looks pretty much stock all the work's been done under here so got some really tasty stuff on it and of course we are joined today with Connor the owner we'll introduce him we'll get him to walk around basically what he's done to it and then we'll go out on this stage three 300 break I beat the FR Okay, we're joined now with Connor, the owner of this little pocket rocket. And I think this is exactly what it is, this thing. I mean, you built it for literally just B roads, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah, just, just for back roads, surrounded by them around here. So yeah, it's no, basically absolutely. the perfect, perfect thing to do, really. No, it's, a, it's a cool little thing. But of course, we do have the bonnet up. As I said, we've had quite a lot of work that's gone on uh, under the bonnet. So if it's all right, give us a, a bit of a walkthrough. Yeah, so uh, we've had the battery relocated to make room for the uh, RTMG carbon intake mm -hmm. uh, with the RTMG blower valve and their boost pipes. Uh, it's had a little bit of a modification to the clip which goes to the uh, hybrid turbo there. It's an RTMG hybrid turbo as well. Yep. It's a DKU two and a half inch downpipe mm -hmm. uh, running to a two and a half inch Cobra res cat back. Nice. Yep. Uh, we've got the APR uh, ignition coils mm -hmm. um, along with uh, some colder plugs yep. um, and that's really it for, for underneath. Awesome and we don't have an exact dyno figure as of yet, but no. we think what around around 300 brake. Yeah, somewhere around take. that sort of mark. I mean, that is some some serious power in it, and literally double yeah. what they run standard. Yeah, yeah, which is, is pretty cool. Definitely a big difference. Very cool. Uh, engine internally is all stock, I imagine. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Clutch wise, stock, stock clutch. Stock clutch. Okay. Does it take it? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, okay. It's fine. We've had to limit torque below 3k, uh, okay. so it doesn't absolutely pull it to pieces. But yeah, other yeah, than yeah. that, yeah, it's, it's all right. Visually as well, it's a bit of a sleeper, as I said pretty much stock. <laughs> yeah, there is basically, other than a, a small bit of wrap at the front here, yeah. just to give it that wide mouth effect on the grill, there is literally nothing, even stock wheels. So Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, one yeah. of the sort of big giveaways though is, is the brakes. Yeah, um, S1 brakes. S1 brakes, they're drilled and grooved M-Tech discs, yeah. uh, Mintex race pads uh, and, nice. and some race fluid as well. Fair play. Just up front, nothing on the rear. Yeah, rear's completely stock, yeah, just, just yeah, yeah. Brembo discs and pads and stock Mega. calipers. Fair play. I mean, what, is it a car you've had for a, a little while or is it? Uh, I've had it for a little over a year. Yeah, um, bought it so, stock? Yeah, bought it yeah. completely stock, went stage one pretty quickly yeah, uh, and then yeah, recently yeah. moved on to stage three. Oh, fair play. Skip stage two and sent it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, 140 brake or 150-ish standard to... Well, pretty much Best part 300. Double, yeah. yeah, that's a uh, big difference. Uh, yeah, I imagine it's uh, a lot of fun and, and a very light car as well. Um, so yeah, I imagine the power to weight ratio is pretty good, but inside as well, completely stock. Completely stock well. on the inside, yeah. yeah. Fair play. I mean, it's something different, isn't it? You've gone kind of off the beaten track, something a little bit more unique. I yeah, guess. a lot of people my age have sort of the, the Mark 7 Fiesta STs and stuff, so it's yeah. something a little bit different. That's true. I mean, it's a bit of a rival to that, I imagine, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's a little bit of a competitor. But yeah, I love this under here. Open up the bonnet, all the carbon. Very, very nice. I mean, there's obviously more plans for it, I imagine. Uh, yeah, all the suspension work's done now. Yeah. Um, so next sort of things is really just the uh, the interior, gonna do a rear seat delete. Nice. Um, yeah. Maybe eventually do some cosmetic stuff. Yeah. Um, but right now I quite like this, a bit of a sleeper. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, put so... the bonnet down and you would never know. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> awesome, but yeah, I know, I think if that's, uh, if that's pretty much everything, I think we'll get this little thing fired up and uh, we'll go for a spin. Sounds good. There's been. Oh, it sounds good. <laughs> That's a blow up, isn't it? <laughs> That's actually pretty quick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it does like to spin a lot. Yeah, yeah naturally. But Front wheel drive. That was still with traction on as well. If you turn traction off, it, you just get stuck in a state of spin. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't actually ever stop spinning. <laughs> so it's easier just to take the power cut, basically. Yeah. Was it red like that? Six? A little bit over. A bit over. 
It's a little animal, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is a mega little thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. mega little thing. <laughs> Manual as well, fair play. <laughs> um, yeah, it does all right for something that was built for economy that turns off two cylinders, you know. It's, um, so it's got cylinder deactivation then? Yeah, so you'll probably hear it in a second if I slow down a little bit. So it goes down to a two cylinder? Yeah, you'll probably hear it. Oh, there. There you go, and then as you actually come on it, it like opens back up. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, if you're in like a high, if you're in like a lower gear, you can hear it a lot worse. Yeah. It sounds awful, really. And then when you touch the accelerator, it comes out. That's mad. Yeah, helps with MPG a lot though. Yeah. So smoking all the Fiestas and getting all the MPG. <laughs> Best of both, Bob. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds a little bit more angry than 1.4. Like before, when mm. b uh, before the downpipe in the stage three, when it was stock turbo. Yeah. It did sound like a 1.4. Yeah. It sounded awful. Well, not awful. But it didn't sound great. Mm. Whereas now, I think it sounds a little bit, a little bit better than. It sounds a bit like a rally car. <laughs> <laughs> And as you can feel, it's very stiff. Yeah, that's true. Suspension-wise, we didn't talk about that, did we? Yeah, so uh, it's on Bilstein B16 coilovers, nice. uh, and then basically everything, including dog bone mounts and, and all the lower arms and everything, is all, is all poly bushed yeah. on the Power Flex. I think it's the Road Series, it's the purple bushes. Okay. Yeah. So I think yeah, that's road gotcha. series. Um, but it's everywhere. Yeah, it's certainly uh, stiff enough. It makes everything that's plastic in here rattle at <laughs> some point during the drive. <laughs> Spin. <laughs> Spinning. Spinning. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw it around as well. <laughs> it's one of them cars, right, which is so small, so light, so nimble that you can just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you can you can just throw it basically, <laughs> and it sounds stupid, but it is almost like an all-wheel drive DSG car is literally point and shoot. If you point it one way, it does just stick that way. Yeah, it I doesn't. Mean, apart from obviously the spinning from low down. Yeah, but, but, but through corners and stuff, I, I purely basically the whole reason I done it was back roads in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does just. It, it does just stick to corners. <laughs> Third gear is very strong, actually. Yeah, when it does grip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you get traction. <laughs> Give me the beans, my boy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love that blow off noise. <laughs> It's a bit greasy out today. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Third gear is the gear. That's it, yeah. <laughs> this thing's mental. Yeah, this is a proper little beast. You know? <laughs> proper little beast. Yeah, it does does pull. But it goes. I suppose it goes so under the radar. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big surprise because like, you'd never think that something like this could have this much character and this much go. No, <laughs> no. It, most people don't even give it a second look, mm. even with like a little bit of noise coming out of the back of yeah, it. Most true. people don't give it a second look because when you mm. when you're just like when you're just cruising around, it doesn't really doesn't really make a load of noise. Yeah. So yeah. most people don't even don't even look at it, and because it's not too low. Like the build signs don't actually let you lower it that much, so that's adjusters completely out on the rear. Okay, yeah. So you physically just because there's no weight to it. True. If you if you like sit someone in the boot, it drops to where it should. <laughs> but without that, you, there's it just it just sits slightly too high. Yeah. It sits well, I think. In general. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't sit too bad. Mm. It sits quite well on the road, but back there it was well greasy. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit. Yeah. I mean, have you got anything you want to do, like up the power, do you reckon, or are you happy? Like, um, no, nah, I do want more power. Yeah. <laughs> um, more, Correct answer. More power is always the answer. Yeah. Um, yeah, more power, lose a bit of weight, because I've still got like all the, all the, like, the space saver and all the, all the yeah, like, spare stuff there. in the yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. And we've got a boot full of 
rubbish at the moment yeah. and uh, I want to get rid of all of that and uh, take the rear seats out yeah. get a little rear seat delete in like a K brace nice uh, and I'm still waiting for White Line to do a rear anti-roll bar for these oh. they've been out of stock for about six months oh no way so if someone could find me one that'd be good <laughs> I really like it yeah it's uh, definitely a lot of fun yeah <laughs> but yeah, no, mate. Thank you so much for uh, for taking me out on it. No, of course. Because uh, I mean, being one of the, like you said, being one of the most powerful ones in the UK and one of the first to have all of this done. It's uh, yeah. When you messaged me, I thought, do you know what? Yeah, that sounds like it's. Yeah, it, it, it might not be as exciting as some of the uh, five, six hundred horsepower cars, but it's, it's certainly uh, good fun on a set of back roads. That's it. I mean, given the right conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't need a whole ton of power to have fun. No, no. It helps being manual and, exactly, and stiff. Yeah. It's, it's just like driving a little go kart, really. Yeah, exactly what I thought. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, if you guys want to learn more about the build, then I will leave Connor's Instagram link down in the description down below. But for me today, that is it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have. Please make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come. Cool. <laughs> Just kicked out of it there. <laughs>